Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bond here with Overtime Athletes. And for today's video, I want to go over five of my favorite advanced plyometrics that we typically perform with our more advanced level athletes to be able to increase their linear speed. So starting off with number one is going to be a straight leg bound. Now this isn't as advanced. We actually do this through all of our levels. However, this is one of those drills that you need to be including to be able to enhance your ability to sprint. So number one is going to be that straight leg bound. And essentially what I'm looking for is the athlete to have their feet right underneath their hips, toes pointed forward. Now the big thing I'm looking for here is for them to stay in dorsiflexion or keep their ankle cocked. I tell them to pull the toe to the top of the shoe and essentially what I'm looking for is that athlete to be able to kick that shin forward flexing the hip and being able to claw back at the turf striking the ball the foot and being able to pull big thing I'm looking for here is not these quick short strokes I'm looking for long pulling on the back side. Now the reason why I love this drill is it really focuses on elevating the glute and hamstrings at length and being able to perform that clawing motion back down at the turf. All right, so for advanced plyometric number two, it's going to be an alternating bound, but there's gonna be a simple variation of how we translate over to acceleration. So with this bound, what we wanna focus on is essentially producing force horizontally or forward. So what I'm looking for is the athlete to slightly get the rib cage over the pelvis, chin tuck, eyes down at the ground. Next, I'm gonna instruct the athlete to punch the knee forward and attack back down at the ground. The big thing I'm looking for here and then I cue my athletes is I want their hips to move parallel with the ground. I don't wanna see that waistline or that belt line go up and down because that will mean they're producing vertical force. I want them strictly focused on punching that knee and attacking back down at the ground. Very similar to the motions that they're gonna perform in the acceleration or drive phase. And that's exactly what I'm looking for this drill to be able to translate over to. Focus on big hip separation and big attacks back down at the ground. All right, so for number three, this is gonna be a variation of the alternating bound that we just discussed. So the last one we focused on horizontal power. The next one is gonna translate more to top speed. And what we wanna do is we actually wanna produce more vertical force, okay? So the athlete's torso is upright. And as opposed to punching the knee forward and attacking back down at the ground, the athlete is gonna focus on staying upright and the shin angle is gonna be completely vertical. So they're gonna focus on that vertical force. And as we know, vertical force translates directly over to top speed or maximum velocity. So here the athlete is gonna focus on being able to perform that cyclical motion of the foot, right? And be able to produce as much vertical force as they can while alternating legs. This is great, again, for translating directly over to your top speed. What's up, athletes? Hey, real quick, let me introduce you to OTA Pro. So this is the official training app for overtime athletes. With over nine programs and growing, essentially what I've done is I've compiled my best-selling programs, whether it be speed, vertical jump, agility, muscle gaining, strength. I've literally laid out every single movement, rep set, and in addition to that, I have videos that walk you through exactly how to do it. So if you're looking for a proven program that guarantees results, it's literally at your fingertips right now. And the best part is, you can get this for the price of a couple Chipotle bowls. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out the link down below. Let's dominate. All right, so for drill number four and five, these are gonna be very similar to the alternating bound series we just did. Except what we're gonna do is make this a unilateral drill. We're gonna do it on a single leg. So the first one that we're gonna do is going to be a single leg bound with a horizontal focus. So the athlete is really focused on being able to create that cyclical motion and clawing at the turf to propel themselves down the field as rapidly as they possibly can. This is a big power, a lot of stress, high stimulus motion. This is for the more advanced athletes. Most athletes, we start off with like a single leg hop just to keep it very simple. And then we start expanding out from there. This is again, one of those drills that's gonna directly translate over to you elevating your ability to propel yourselves down the field or court in top speed. All right, last but not least, drill number five. Again, another variation off the single leg bound that we just talked about, but now we're producing vertical force. All right, so in this particular one, the athlete is upright 
and they're focused on a fast cyclical motion, fast frequency and turnover, right? While being able to pop up vertically as high as they possibly can. When we switch this over to a single leg, as opposed to the alternating, this creates a lot more stress. So that's why I say this is a little bit more on the advanced side. But as you can see, a lot of these drills are very similar between one through five. It's the nuance of what we're actually looking for in the context of how we're trying to elevate it. So as opposed to just performing your alternating bounds or your single leg bounds with no understanding of what you're actually trying to increase, start to look at the little nuance and actually start to look at the way your body's supposed to be positioned and how you're supposed to direct that force so that you could then translate it over to your speed and elevate your speed overall. So I hope this helps guys. There's your five drills you should be including or building up to those. Make sure that you put them in your off season training. If you're interested in a full program, go ahead and check out the link down below and I'll talk to you guys next time.